Welcome back dear students. Hope you all are going well. In the previous class, we were dealing with the story Rosa Parks sat still. Today, we will go through the rest of it. So, are you ready? Okay, take page number 104. Now, all of you read this page. Hope you all read this page. Now, I'll read it for you. All of you listen carefully and find out the difficult words. The Montgomery bus boycott went on in this way for more than a year. It lasted exactly 381 days. During the boycott, the bus company lost millions of dollars. This was because there were many, many more black bus users than white users. Without black passengers, Buses ran almost empty. Meanwhile, Rosa Parks was tried in a court of law. The judge ordered her to pay a fine. He said she had broken the law of segregation. Rosa's lawyers advised her not to pay the fine and she took their advice. Then they went to the higher courts and finally to the highest court, the American Supreme Court. The judges of Supreme Court said that segregation was unlawful in public transport services. They said it was against the law of the country. Students, hope you all identify the difficult words. Am I right? So, shall we discuss those words and their meanings? Okay, let's go. Dollar means unit of money used in the USA. Judge, public officer to hear and decide cases in a law court. Fine means some paid as punishment. Segregation, act of separating. Lawyer means person who studied law. Unlawful means not allowed by law. Students, now I'll give you the explanation of this paragraph. The black people of America fought for Rosa Parks. They boycotted the buses, so the Montgomery bus boycott continued for more than a year and it lasted for 381 days. As a result of that, the bus company lost millions of dollars because many more black passengers used the bus than the white passengers. So the buses ran empty. In the court, the judge ordered Rosa to pay a fine. He said that she had broken the law of segregation. But Rosa's lawyer advised her not to pay the fine. Finally, they went to the American Supreme Court. The judges of the Supreme Court said that in public transport services, segregation is against the law of the country. Dear students, Hope you all understood this paragraph. Am I right? Now, shall we move on to the next paragraph? Okay. So, I'll read it for you and all of you listen attentively and find out the difficult words. So, it was that Rosa Parks sat still and moved a million minds. She began the black American people's fight for fairness and justice to all human beings. Americans call her the mother of the black civil rights movement. Civil rights are the rights of a country's citizens. Many years before Rosa Parks sat still in that bus, something else had happened in another country. A man called Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi sat still in a train in South Africa. He refused to get off. The white passengers threw him out. There are many other stories of his courage and of the courage others got from him to fight for their rights. Students, now shall we discuss the difficult words and their meanings? Okay. Justice means moral rightness. Civil rights, the rights of citizens. Citizen means 
member of a state refuse not willing get off to leave courage bravery now it's time for the explanation of this paragraph are you ready okay i'll explain it rosa parks moved a million miles by sitting still in that bus she began to fight for the justice of black american people with great respect the americans call her the mother of the black civil rights movement what are civil rights do you know yes civil rights are the rights of a country's citizen in america rosa parks sat still in a bus and likewise in south africa our national father mahatma gandhi sat still in a train he refused to get off the train the white passengers threw him out there are many stories about his courage and it is from him that others got courage to fight for their rights students hope you all understood the explanation am i right did you enjoy this class okay this is the story of rosa parks students now shall we move on to an activity based on this chapter so all of you take page number 105 here you can see an activity all of you read the question what were the events that led to the historic judgment of the supreme court complete the flow chart given below students look here the first one and the last one are given for you based on these two hints you have to complete the flow chart i'll read that hints rosa parks boarded a bus and sat down in the nearest seat that is the first one now i'll read the last one the supreme court rules that segregation is unlawful now all of you try to complete the flow chart okay this is a homework for you do it yourself but before doing this activity all of you analyze the story very well okay after that you can do this activity easily okay see you in the next class with a new chapter thank you dear children